morning, everyone. Today is October fifth, Friday. Today I'm going to Hill of Buddha, which is Takino Lane. I heard there's a Buddha statue made by Tadao Ando. He's a famous architect. I went to his exhibitions in Korea. His architectures were really seems fantastic to me. So I'm going to see one of his works in Sapporo. So let's go. I just recharged my IC card in a station. There's an English menu so that you can recharge your or IC card in anywhere of the street uh, station. I'm gonna take this train to Makomanai and then I'll take another bus from there. Well, I arrived in Makomanai station and I need to take a bus number 108 or 106. It's on the far left side of the station and you got out you need to go left 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 and you need to find bus number 108 or 106 it's the road side here are Moai statues and kind of a Babylonian statue I don't know why they're there There's a head of Buddha. That Buddha statue is designed by Japanese architect Tadao Ando, as I said before. And I don't know who built these Moai statues. So this is the water that can wash your hands to clear your body before the Buddha. You can see the clear water blocking right straight to get to the Buddha statue. So you need to walk around water.
cave. Kind of. This is magnificent. The bottom is shape of lotus which is a religious plant in Buddhism. So lotus grows in muddy place and it means in bad circumstances, you can make your own flower blossom so that like the main theory or the main thing they want to say is even if however wherever whenever under how bad your circumstances are you can make your own destiny or you can make your own life to make better So I just watched the Buddha's hill and it was really nice because I haven't seen like this architecture ever before and oh, the weather is really windy it's hard to walk but in the inside there's a roof so you don't have to worry about weather in inside and also there's a cafe right next to it you can buy exclusive Ando Tadao's sketch design book how he made it and how he designed it the book is only sold in this place also the book has his works in Hokkaido, which is located in this island. So if you're interested and if you're if ever coming to Hokkaido, maybe Sapporo.
you can visit here and see his works and there is a sample book so you can briefly see it in your own eyes so yeah it's really nice to come here and see his works Yeah, so we are back at the entrance. Uh, I'll take a bus. I'm back in Akomina Station. And I go to Kiga City to get some ramen. I got off from the subway at the Hiragish station and I'm going to a ramen place called Menya Saimi. I saw on a website that they have a best ramen in Sapporo, especially miso ramen. even better than last night and this is the best miso ramen I've ever ate if you if you want to eat best miso ramen in Sapporo you should definitely visit here so I'm going to now uh, Hokkaido sports complex there it has a Hokkaido Japanese basketball team's home court I guess this is Hokkaido Sapporo's residential area, a condominium and apartments. These days Japanese basketball is really booming. Basketball is not the favorite or most known sports in Japan. They play baseball and soccer. But they made achieve to go to Olympic basketball with their own ability so I want to see how they are enjoying basketball and in Sapporo there's a team named Hokkaido Levante I heard and here's their home ground home stadium Yeah, this is the sports facility and here is the entrance it's a north entrance so main entrance is I think there or maybe go inside and ask about if there is a stadium tour I think this 
just a history museum like showcase of basketball in Japan, especially in Hokkaido. There's a subway entrance, so you can come here directly from subway. They're now advertising their home opening games this weekend. So this is Hokkaido's facility and I'm going back to hostel Okay guys, I arrived in Sapporo factory. This is a building which was a factory before and this became remodeled to a shopping mall. So I want to visit how they transformed abandoned factory into a renewed shopping mall place. It's like a great experience to have an architectural remodeling so let's go inside so this is a map of Sapporo factory there are mainly four buildings like you can see one two three four so I first go to chimney square and then go inside and see all those buildings around Sapporo factory it has a beautiful remodeled inside I'm going on my way to Sapporo station and from there I just walk around and go back to the hostel Sapporo station there's a space called Minaka it's uh, like a 
public museum in the middle of Sapporo Station. Side, there are some artifacts from Ainu peoples. So now I arrived in Sapporo station. This is the main entrance of the station. And right next to it, there are some buildings, a hotel. The blue light is a bookstore I went, a department store. <laughs> 